What's going on guys? This is Coop here from Next Era Gaming coming at you today with episode one of a new series that I'd like to start called State of the Side Deck. The idea behind this series is to give you guys an idea of what I'm playing for my main deck side at the time. Um, a little bit of feedback as to why I'm playing those choices and hopefully you'll see the side deck evolve over time as we go into later episodes. So without further ado, let's get into the side. Starting off, we've got two DD Crow. I'd love to play three of this card right now, uh, but I think two's working out just fine. Uh, it's an incredible hand trap, this format. You can use it to get anything out of your opponent's graveyard that they may need in the graveyard. For example, uh, against Eldritch, you can fire it off on the Golden Lord, banish that card, get it out of the grave before they can make too much advantage with it. And you can also banish the, the trap cards and the spell cards uh, so that they don't have the opportunity to use their graveyard effects as well. <laughs> Gearsu is a card uh, in Eternity Code that brought brand new life into Orcus and I do anticipate that we'll see a little bit of Orcus action and because of that Didi Crow grows even stronger as a side deck option uh, where you can get use Didi Crow to get rid of the Nightmare, the Symbol Skeleton, um, perhaps the Galatea or the uh, Ding in the graveyard that um, your opponent may be waiting to use a symbol skeleton on to send, send him back. But overall, anything that is in the, your opponent's graveyard that you don't want to be in their graveyard, DD Crow can get rid of it for you <clears throat> before things get out of hand. Next up is a personal favorite card out of Echo for me. Um, Ghost Mourner and Moonlight Shell. I absolutely adore this card for its artwork. I love its name uh, and I love its effect. Send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Uh, when your opponent special summons a monster, negate that monster's effects. And if that monster would leave the field, your opponent would take burn damage equal to that monster's attacks. I love this card for the game three scenario when time is um, <clears throat> growing thinner and thinner. Um, I'm not the fastest player ever, so I love when I can get some burn damage in with, particularly with the hero deck with Dystopia, but this adds another option um, if you're forced in a scenario where you're going second, uh, you want to use this on your opponent's combo pieces so that way not only are you negating the effects if it resolves, but if your opponent wants to continue with their combo and get that combo piece off of the board, um, they're going to be taking some burn damage. So I'm really enjoying utilizing this card right now. We'll see if it remains in the side deck moving forward. For our only three of monster in the side deck, we've got Nibir the Primal Being. Um, what can I say about this card that hasn't been said? Whenever we're in a summoning, he summoning heavy format, Nibiru is going to be incredible. Uh, right now with Adam Anticipators running wild, I know um, the rock token that it gives them uh, is rock and they can make advantage of that. But even still, if they've already used the Adam Anticipator Analyzer, um, they... they they might be in a tough spot to continue extending after five summons. So I really enjoy this card. I played around a little bit with Ross Fear Mode with some of the boards that I was seeing, but I found that it was a little too slow for me. So um, Nibiru's back at three in the main, and we'll see if it stays that way. All right, as a hero player, and since this is a hero side deck, um, I am playing Prohibition in my, in my side. And the reason why I'm playing Prohibition is primarily to call Nibiru the Primal Being. Uh, as a hero player, you're often summoning over five turns and you're often susceptible to Nibiru. So um, having something that is not a trap um, that can prevent Nibiru from um, from hitting you after your fifth summon is, is pretty critical. Uh, and this is a new addition to the side deck. I haven't been able to test it in game yet, but in theory, it's for those situations, game two and three, where you find yourself going first. You want to build a board, and you know you've got to go over five. So you call Nibiru. And additionally, in games two and three, you've got the you've got the game knowledge from game one. Um, if you're to call another card, if you're not particularly worried about Nibiru, uh, if you're playing against the Shadal matchup, you can hit the Shadal Fusion. If you're playing against the Adam Emancipator matchup, you can hit <clears throat> the Analyzer, the Researcher, the Block Dragon, whatever you need. <clears throat> and Elvich, you can hit uh, Elvich the Golden Lord. It's just a few few cards that you can call on this. So it's a very flexible card. 
I am eager to see how it's going to perform, but right now we're playing it at two, primarily to get rid of the rock. Now for our only other spell card that we're playing in the side, we're playing two Lightning Storms. I think Lightning Storms at two is fine. I don't find myself siding into three Lightning Storms or find myself wanting to side into three Lightning Storms when I could use that slot for another going second card. Uh, it's a fantastic card. Um, I think it's worth playing this format. I do think it got a little bit weaker as we switched into this format. One really cool interaction is that the Eldritch Trap cards that turn into monsters are also treated as trap. So if you call their back row, <laughs> if you destroy all the spells and traps on the field, um, you can destroy those monsters as well. And the reason, part of the reason why I am playing only two Lightning Storms is because of our next card, our first trap in the side deck is two evenly matched. Traditionally, I love playing three evenly matched. It gives uh, the added effect that it banishes cards face down. It doesn't destroy them. It doesn't send them. It banishes them face down. And I love that about the card. But <sighs> this particular side deck is tight. If I had the option to run um, a third copy, I certainly would. But finding that space is going to be a challenge, but we'll see as this series goes on. All right, to round out the side deck, I'm playing two Solemn Judgments. So for Hero, I like to make a first turn board of Plasma and Sunrise. Or if I can, Plasma, Sunrise, and Dark Claw. And going um, first, I found that sometimes my opponent may have an out for that car for for that field so to give it a little bit uh, more protection and have a little bit more security going um, as we pass turn and, and and I pass my turn to my opponent uh, I found solemn judgment to be a pretty good answer to them playing anything that I simply don't want them to play if they summon a monster that I don't want I'll solemn judgment it if they play a spell card or a trap card that I don't want I'll solemn judgment it anything that threatens that first turn board um, is what Solemn Judgment is for. So I've been running this on the side for a while now, and I really enjoy how it's how it's performed for me. So <clears throat> as far as cards that I'll side in, going first, we have, let's see here, for our going first cards. Okay, so for our going first cards, I side in, for this side deck, I'll have Prohibition, Two Solemn Judgments. Okay, guys, for our going second cards in the side deck, we've got three Nibiru, two Lightning Storms, two Evenly Matched, two Ghost Mourner, and Diddy Crow. Now, that's a lot of going second cards, but the power in Hero really is uh, when you get to go second. Hero going first sets up a lot of preventative boards. They set up great boards that have a lot of different effects that can um, interrupt your opponent. But primarily, this deck is an OTK deck. It wants to end the, t end the game quickly. So I found that these going second cards um, are, are, are more the cards that I want to side into as the game goes on. So... That is the current side deck that I am playing for the late May, early June 2020 format. <clears throat> if you have any feedback on the side deck cards or have any ideas for potential growth for the side deck, I'm all for it. Post them in the comments below. But as always, I thank you for your viewership. Don't forget to like and subscribe because next era is now.